Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly for pricing at tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we are discussing horological royalty. The winner of the 2015 Aegis d'Or, effectively best picture at the Oscars of watchmaking. This is the Grubel 4C Tourbillon von Quetzicon Vision. A 24-second tourbillon in a 43.5 millimeter white gold case, this 2015 limited edition of 22 pieces is extraordinary, both for the quality of its finish and for its understatement relative to other Grubel 4C watches. Now, the thing to remember about Grubel 4C is that you get the highest level of technology, the highest level of finish, and with 100 to 150 watches made per year, great exclusivity, but they tend to be huge and extravagant. And I'm not saying this watch isn't big or extravagant, but it's not outlandish. I can wear it because at 43.5 millimeters in diameter and 13.9 millimeters thick, and 51.5 millimeters from lug to lug. This is a wearable watch on a human-sized wrist. Now, it also has a 22 millimeter spacing between the lugs, so when it's on a human-sized wrist, it has a nice broad, modern stance. It's big, no, make no mistake, but it will slide underneath jacket cuffs, so not too much of an encumbrance. You have one cutout in the dial for the tourbillon, but you don't have any protuberances out of the case flank. Uh, there's no bubble on the dial side. It is very simple. It is a three-hand watch with a tourbillon, and I recommend it for wrists as small as 15 centimeters in circumference. Now, the timepiece has a strap of high grade. It is large rectangular scale alligator leather. There's a lot of stuffing in there to give it volume and bolster it. It's a semi-gloss finish. It has a monotone black stitch, a folded edge, and then calfskin on the bottom. And as you can see, this is a Grubel 4C factory strap in very good condition. You'll note there's no crimping or gouging across the exterior. And then it features a Grubel 4C pin buckle, which is handsome, but less spectacular than the rest of the watch. The watch is spectacular. You can see the case band features vertical satination. It features a lovely concave lug profile that's one of the subtle secrets of Grubel 4C's appeal. It's something you really don't catch when you look at photos like this on the internet. The bezel has a short vertical portion, just as does the case back, both polished to contrast with the satin of the mid case. And then there's a domed profile to the bezel. You can see Grubel 4C lacquers its logo into wells on the crown, G and F. The dial is made of solid gold. And if you look carefully, you can see that there are actually two different tones. There's a sort of champagne tone to the raised outer dial. Then there's a polished inner border surrounding a matte opaline silver frosted center. We have a dial that is printed in a dark blue with blue fired hour and minute hands. Take note that the hour hand is skeletonized and the minute hand has a lovely triangular arrow tipped index. At center, the hands are black polished and they sit on a black polished cannon pinion. The logo is white gold and polished. Again, this entire dial, which steps down from the outer track to the hour track to the inner disc, it has three different focal planes and it is all made of solid gold. You can also see that there's a polished bevel around the rim surrounding the tourbillon aperture and that the bridge adjacent to the tourbillon with the driving wheel features black polish. Both the tourbillon as well as that driving wheel feature golden chiton, a reference to pocket watch era watchmaking. You can see that the entire upper tourbillon bridge has been black polished and rounded. Very difficult to do, finished off with diamond paste and there's a mirrored bevel on its edge now, what you're also going to see is that there's one, two, three, four sharp interior angles where two bevels meet. Turn the watch over. You can see that there is a dome to make it easier to see the tourbillon structure. And once again, rounded black polished with one, two, three, four sharp interior angles. You can see that the tourbillon is extraordinary. It's inclined at 24, or I should say 25 degrees, and it makes a 24 second circuit. So what happens is, because of its inclination, the balance is always rotating relative to gravity and canceling out the effects of gravity fast and slow, alternating as though it were a pocket watch, which recovers much of the original concept behind Abraham Louis Breguet's tourbillon regulator, which was to cancel out the effect of gravity on timekeeping. Now, because it's a 24-second tourbillon, it moves at twice the speed of a conventional tourbillon, and we have twin stacked barrels in series, manually wound, imparting a 72-hour power reserve, which you can trace on this power reserve 
nerve indicator. Now, the scale right here is made of white gold and then lacquered. You can see that the entire tourbillon carriage is brilliantly finished, as is the underside of its bridge. And uh, it is free sprung, six position adjusted for durability and precision, and it has an overcoil to further improve its resilience against gravity induced timing deviations. The bridges are made of nickel, copper, zinc, or maishore in the lingua franca of La Chaux de Fonds. We would call this German silver if it were in a langa. The watch is made in La Chaux de Fonds. The frosting on the bridges is accomplished with a wire brush, and you can see that there are a lot of broad bevels that are absolutely a mile wide. This is anglage as good as it comes. We have more of those golden chiton fixing pivot jewels, and you can see that we have enormous fired blue screws that are employed. But if you look on the movement, you can also see inside the bubble there are other black polished screws. So the watch actually has both black polished and and blued screws. And you could see that the wheels feature satination, and though it's not the easiest thing to see, if you look at some of the driving wheels, they are internally beveled on both their inner circumference and their spoke, literally as good as it gets in terms of finish and innovation, and a GPHG Aguido winner. All of this is 30 meters water resistant, so please don't take it swimming, but there is the Grubel 4C Balancier S if you want to get wet and wild. This one is for fun and high style, high and dry. Reach out to Team also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.